Love is an extremely complicated feeling and can be confused with a variety of other emotions as well. We often describe love as a feeling of strong connection with someone. However, love is not just an emotional bond, it is a feeling which is simply why unexplainable. There are times when people might confuse emotional attachment for love and we totally understand why that might happen. The concept of love and attachment is unfortunately not clear to many people. Whether a couple is in love or simply attached to each other, they say that we are in love by default. You might even know and say that it's normal to be attached to a lover, so why cannot you be in love with the person you are attached to? Well, that need a lot of explanation and I'm glad that you are ready to learn it. Here are 10 signs which shows that whether it's an attachment or a love. Number one, you have become dependent on them for happiness. When you are in love with someone, you trust them to be there for you when you need them. But overall, you're okay on your own. You're content by yourself and you know that you're worth. But when you're attached to someone, you become dependent on them for validation. You rely on them heavily to be your source of happiness, love and comfort. Someone shouldn't make or break your happiness. You should find that happiness with yourself and let them merely add to it. Your emotional well-being, self-worth and happiness are things that you should find within yourself. If you think that you are emotionally attached to someone, it means that you are dependent on them, which means that it's not love, but just an attachment. You're scared to be alone. There is a difference between being alone and feeling lonely. According to psychology, that being alone is about the physical state of not being with another person, whereas being lonely is a psychological state of feeling emotionally disconnected from others. The thought of not being with your partner makes you anxious. You might also be quick to assume the worst like they are cheating on you or they suddenly have lost feeling for you simply because you are not physically together at the present moment. If it's real love, you won't be feeling this way. You would trust your partner. You would give each other your necessary space. You won't be nervous they were going to pack up their things and leave you randomly. You won't have constant ask, do you still like me? Love is calm and attachment is not. Well, number three, you feel insecure. This goes back to the idea that when you are not physically with your partner at any moment, you jump to conclusions that are rooted in insecurity and jealousy. You assume they are cheating on you. You assume that they are about to break up with you to find someone better to be alone because it's better than being with this you. This is anxious attachment. Someone who struggles with low self-esteem and who need constant reassurance. You crave reassurance for your partner that they are not cheating. They are not going to leave you and they are still love you. You are quick to become jealous of any other person in their life who would be a potential threat and you assume the worst. These anxious feelings stem from a fear of losing the attachment rather than the person themselves. Number four, there is lack of growth and you're resisting change. Oftentimes when we are in a relationship, we can become stagnant. We become comfortable with who we are and we are with. Because of this, we neglect personal goals and growth. We forget about that thing we wanted to accomplish because we are so preoccupied with the relationship and making sure our partner is happy. Love is selfless, but that's not the case here because it's attachment. When it's attachment, not love, you and your partner might be unwilling to follow your dream simply out of fear that you could lose one another. When it's love, no dream is too big and no personal growth is too much to, for two people who are willing to make it work. If you and your partner is feeling reluctant to change aspects of the relationships that need work or are avoiding the underlying issues, there is a good sign that this is not love, but an attachment. There is no joy and fulfillment in your relationship. When you're in love, you feel a deep sense of joy and contentment. When you're attached to someone, you have a persistent feeling in your gut that something is missing. There is an emptiness. You cannot put your finger on it exactly, but you do know that you just don't feel fulfilled. Superficial connections between the two people. Emotional attachment often forms quickly based on superficial factors like physical attraction or shared interest. While these factors play a part in love, they shouldn't be the sole foundation. True love goes deeper, founded on a profound emotional connection, trust and compatibility between the two people. You fell for them hard and fast. From the very second you met them to be the present moment, it's absolutely very quick. You honestly can't believe how quickly and deeply you fell for them, especially given the fact you haven't really known them all that long. And yet, here you are. 
and the most important that there is lack of emotional connection. Sometimes there is an emotional disconnect in relationships. Sometimes there is little to no vulnerability. Some people have a hard time opening up emotionally to their partners and this is something that has to be worked through personally and as a couple. There should be at the very least a genuine understanding between the two of you. If you both aren't aware of each other's fears which excites them and you both uh, have difficulty putting in the efforts to understand on that level, it's not genuine love. It's just an attachment.